Welcome to the Nick and Jimmy Show. On today's episode, excuse we Excuse me, excuse me. We're going to change things around today. Okay. What do you mean? Enough with the interviewing. How come? Because it's time you guys get interviewed. I'm ready. You understand? Ready when you're ready. Let's go. So today, I ask and you answer. Yo soy de Calopede. Oh, Elias. Calopede. There you go. Okay. So, let's start. How did you guys meet? And where did you meet? We met at uh, St. Maxim High School. St. Maxim. Yeah. Where the hoodlums go. Where the hoodlums the, go. The, the hood. Okay. We, were, we were at Shamadi High, so a, a slightly worse or better? I'm not sure. I think a little bit better. Well, I went to Shamadi High, but then when the switch happened from Marie Curie to, what was it again? Marie Curie, Shamadi High, they did a switch. A switch? I, or did they throw you out? Yes, yes, no, no, yes, yes, yes. Shamadi High went to Marie Curie. Exactly, exactly. And Western Marie, became, went to exactly. where, where Shamadi High was. Exactly. Okay. So the English side. So then at that moment, I went to Samaritan. You, you guys are from Shamadi then? Sh- Correct. Yeah, Shamadi. Sea Town. But I live in Nanzalan now. Oh. Yeah. He's better than us. And that's, yeah, that's a big My change. Yeah. It's a I'm, big change. I'm used to living where people don't even know me. So it's good. Uh-huh. Maybe it's, it's good. better. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Calopedi. <laughs> And uh, Nick, uh, last time Laval. we spoke, you Laval. I think yeah. you were living somewhere else, if I'm not mistaken. I was uh, Chateau Gay. I was Chateau Gay for a bit. In the boonies. But, uh, in the boonies, but now, and now you're back in Laval. Back in Laval. Where? In Laviz. Laviz. So where? Which Centropolis? part? Centropolis. That's that where you live. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. So first of all, I have to do this because this is like a trademark now. Where, if you interview on the Nick and Jimmy show, you, you must sit like this. Is, mm. is it? Am I correct? Yeah. I, you're 100 percent correct. Posa. Very good. Okay. So I want to know your journey on entrepreneurship. You guys currently have a company called MPS Correct. Merchant yes. Services. Merchant Roughly Services. Roughly 40 employees. Downtown Ru- Montreal. Roughly 40 employees. Okay, so give me a little bit of the history. How did you get from high school up until this today? And, and you guys are still connected as friends. Now you're business partners and you're still working together. So give, give us a little bit of a brief Overview. history. Okay, well, basically, uh, when we were younger, we were always into sales. Uh, I was reading a lot of books, Jimmy too, in sales, motivation, all that good stuff. And actually we met a guy called Max, the guy that's here, the guy you just met over there. And he was into these uh, companies that sell telecommunications. Direct sales. Direct sales and kind of like a, a Avon, you know, those companies where you recruit mm-hmm. people, but in telecommunications. Okay. So, you know, we, we joined him, we built a, a team of maybe a couple of thousand, couple of thousand people and we stuck together. Uh, we always did sales together, we worked together. Or like a BFS, but, but we grew from there actually, yeah. from our um, sales experience yep. to it was it, we call it let's say university of life, yep. right? The ups and downs, the emotional roller coaster, how to connect with people, how to present a project, how to communicate, how to close deals, and how not right? to just think nine to five. Well, here's the important part for me. It's like whenever you're taking that jump over from a secure job, exactly, it was so called secure because we all think that. Having a job is a safe thing, but mm-hmm. in reactivity, you're, you're you're handing off your destiny to someone else. Exactly, you you're building off somebody so, else's dream, and you're building. And don't let somebody dream. steal your. So it, well, your. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. Go ahead. Steal your no, wait, he was into it. That's why he was into it. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Yes. So uh, my uh, protein shake. What I want to know is is the, 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 there must have been a time where you guys were employees, just working for someone. Yeah, of else. course. And then you yeah. decided I, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to take multiple a jobs. Okay. Absolutely. But before that, I was in the restaurant business before we even yeah. uh, collaborated or did some business together. Before I even met Max, for example, the multiple restaurants, multiple call centers. My yeah. first job ever, I think I was 15 or something like that. It was a weekend job. Uh, downtown, I was selling paper rolls. Right? That lasted a couple of months because I don't know, I drifted or whatever the case is. It wasn't for me. But I learned from that, right? On how to open a deal, how to close how to, uh, um, you know, how to sell, let's say. So I agree with that. Now, in terms of operations, what is the role, what are the, what are the different roles you guys have? Perfect. You know, you must complement each other somewhere. So, so uh, early, stage, early stages of the company, we had maybe 10 hats each, from mopping the floor, to recruiting, to opening, closing, uh, you name it. We're putting, um, roughly, let's say a good 12 to 15 hours per day, early stages, right? Then we started delegating, right? Um, when, when a lot of sales were coming in, we started delegating with a secretary. We then went hiring spree. Then we decided, you know what? I'll take care of lead gen and Nick's going to take care of the closers, mm-hmm. right? So I became less of the, the manager of the openers and mm-hmm. Nick took care of the, the closers. Mm-hmm. The, the and what about camera. staffing? Who takes care of the staff management? Now or then? Now. Now what well, we have 
two team leaders, one team leader, and we're very grateful because yeah. because because without the right team, there's no NPS. So we have Daniel, which uh, he's our team leader for the openers, and uh, Dave, which is a team leader for closers. Okay. Uh, can we skip into uh, the Nick and Jimmy show? Absolutely. Let's find out. So what, what happened? How did you guys decide, hey, man, I'm just going to start a show and start interviewing uh, half of Montreal? Well, first of all, uh, one thing is that we want to get creative mm -hmm. and new ways of getting customers. So we sat down again with our team, uh, Roshan and Jennifer, uh, which they do all our marketing for NPS. And they said, look, you know, as stupid as it sounds, why don't you guys start your own show? You know, you'll meet some people, you'll, you know, and all these people, they have businesses. They're entrepreneurs just like you guys, and you guys get to connect. And at the same time, by connecting, well, you can now offer your services with NPS because most of these people accept, you know, credit cards for the business. Mm -hmm. So, so was, it, was it a more of a business thing or like a little bit of business and fun mixed together? It's to connect with Montreal's best of the best. Okay. You know, and at the end, you know, there's a lot of association. You are who you surround yourself with. And obviously, by surrounding yourself with the best people in the local Montreal market, we're going to become like them. And at the same time, we could get business out of it. Uh, Jim and myself, we used to work for a company in the same business. I was there for a few weeks, sir. But and mm -hmm. I was there for about two years. But we saw like how they run the company, and we told ourselves that we could do something better and treat people right. Because the way that people were getting treated, honestly, it was just like you felt like it was a dead end job. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we want to build a company where people can come and feel at home. And like I experienced that after two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, before that, see, pe people uh, people misunderstand things. If you work for a company, sometimes you'll take a pay cut just uh, to work in a better environment. Absolutely. You know, I have uh, somebody I know that, that just hired somebody. Said I just hired this guy in sales. Took a pay cut. It was basically more of an atmosphere thing. So I couldn't I couldn't pay him currently what mm -hmm. he was receiving, but mm -hmm. he wanted to switch. So true. Mm -hmm. I mean, people underestimate the, the value of the environment of, of work. You can pay someone a lot of money and give them misery every day, and, and mm -hmm. people are different. Most people know. won't accept it. Outside of work, uh, do you guys uh, spend time together, or are you just tired of seeing each other at work and call well, look, it a day? Well, look, yes, but no, but I have two kids. Right, so it's hard to do that on a regular basis. But yeah, we go for yeah. drinks at least yeah. once a week. And we nice. see each other all the time, you know. We're here and we're actually very blessed, you know, like not only are we like best friends, but we get to work with each other. Yeah. And you know, we get along. Obviously there's ups and downs no matter of course, what. Of course. Yeah. But you know, we I think you know, I think like uh, working together is most likely more like a marriage. You gotta absolutely, know absolutely, to back up absolutely. and say, you know what, let's let's find common ground, right? So absolutely. when people say that, you know, uh, never get into business with your friends Kind well, of disagree, depends. disagree because depends, at the end of the day, you gotta make it work. If you guys yeah. can make it work together and you guys have the same core values, but we also have a lot of history exactly. in the past, we've done a lot of projects. It's not like the first project, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Know, we know how to deal with each other. Absolutely. We, when we argue, we try to fix it right away, exactly. Yeah. Versus, you know, let's say you and your wife, for example, you guys argue, right. Instead of waiting a week or two to fix it, you fix it right away. Because mm -hmm. after a week or two, things are going to boil up mm -hmm. and other things are going to pop up. Yeah. You know, that's what arguments are going to do. We Correct. fix it. We fix it. Right. Communication is very important. Absolutely. Understood. Speaking of uh, history, um, there was an incident when we were in uh, Turks and Caicos at the oh. bar. Katsariba. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. Okay, let's see. I think it's like 20 years. <laughs> this is 20 years ago. I'm not the same person. People probably, this is Jimmy 20 years ago. Look, we grow, right? <laughs> we freaking grow. Come on. I, I still have a good time when I can, once or twice a year, let's say, instead of once or twice a, a week. But uh, yeah, it, it was a great time. Bring it up every now and then just to make go, comfortable. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go for it. Do it. The mic is yours. So from what I understand, the company is very successful now. Mm -hmm. You guys have a ton of clients. Give me some numbers. Like, what are you, what are we looking at here? Well, basically, we started just me and Jimmy, as you know, doing everything, running the whole show, right? And today, we were actually maybe with two, three employees at the beginning, seven years ago. And today, we have over forty employees. Uh, we have over seven thousand customers that are processing using our services. And we're proud to say we're the biggest call center in Montreal, the biggest sales force in Montreal doing merchant services. Wow. And we have great people. Big achievement. We, we, uh, we personally believe that we're, and we're very confident we have the best closers, best team, best management, and also best customer service, right? Uh, so yeah, we're very proud. And we give the, for people, and I think it's very important to add this, we give the best environment. People come here, 
They feel like it's a family environment and anyone here that works here that's been with us for a long time, they can vouch for that. We don't treat people like employees or another number. Uh, we believe by being leaders, not bosses. And that's one thing that separates us from other companies. Absolutely. Corporate America. We, we want people to feel like they can have a home here, they can have a career, and they can work with us till the end and make big things happen. Makes me want to work for you now. Yeah. Let's go. We're okay. ready when you're ready. Oh, Absolutely. Nice. Thank you very much. I was looking for a change in career. And uh, can I hand you my uh, CV? Yes, sure, but I don't think we could afford you, though. Well, you never know, sir. Because we'll five million dollars a year salary. <laughs> yeah. Carlo uh, Pedi. Carlo Pedi. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you: Would you ever go back to Turks and Caicos with me? One hundred percent. Yes. How old were the were we uh, at the time? I, it was your bachelor party. Thousand one. No? Are you nuts? I wasn't even. I was. This was two thousand seven. What are you talking about? No two, way. Two thousand. Yeah. 2000. Hey, you even called uh, Havatov the other time uh, when I was at the bank. It was 2005. 2007. 2000, it was, yeah, 2007, yeah. What? 2000, was, no, 2006 ending to becoming... Yeah, yeah, so it must have been 14 years ago, let's say. Oh, that's a long time ago. I was 20 years old. It's crazy. You man. know what's funny about that? I was selling cars at the time with Mike. And the day before we left, I had a dream that somebody was stealing one of the cars from in front of the house. I had five cars parked there, okay? All for sale. I had a dream that one of the cars was being stolen. And I wake up in the morning and the car is gone. Shut up. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. That, that's the day we left. I, I'll never forget it. And uh, I had the dream they were stealing that particular car. And, and they stole car. that car. Wow. And two days I've later. I've never experienced that in my life. Two days later, you peed in, uh, in the club, right? In front of everyone. Uh, that may have been someone else <laughs> by the name of Jimmy. <laughs> so we also do cash advance for businesses. We we'll just launched that as well. So let's say a small, medium-sized companies, they want to go to the bank. Let's say it's a restaurant. Banks usually do not lend anymore to restaurants. It's high risk for yeah. them. So mm -hmm. what we do, depending on their monthly volume with our merchant account, we could advance them up to 100%. Yeah. On, on their future receivables. We advance based oh, okay. on the future receivables. Oh. So, so who we help backs business. you guys up? Who, who, who We're our partners in the U.S. Okay, you have a partner. So we help businesses yeah. not oh. only to save on their Visa and MasterCard rates, mm -hmm. but but... If they want cash funds, flow. absolutely, we yeah. help them with cash flow as yeah. well. So, well. Well, you're right because no, I'm in banking. I know nobody does that. Like mm -hmm. it's very, very hard for a restaurant to get financing because mm -hmm. they say you're you're paid on the spot. But what they don't understand is your 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 suppliers are asking for, for exactly. the money, so you're you're always a little bit short for thirty days, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So absolutely. Uh, that's actually a very helpful, yeah. I think, in that in that industry and and a good business. Yeah, I know we have great things lined up, man. We have a big blueprint, honestly, Louis. Me and Nick's blueprint in the next five, 10 years is rock solid. We don't want to announce it, but there's a lot of, when we're talking about real estate investing in the US and Canada, from uh, uh, connecting different projects, uh, NPS, our goal is to grow uh, 10X in the next 12 months. The, we're, we're excited for the future, man. We didn't even get started yet. And actually, uh, start again with NPS, uh, we found the, the niche market with online marketing. Yes. We're extremely big on Google, uh, paper click uh, Shout Facebook. Out to Jennifer Topak. Jennifer Topak and our team here with Roshan. Roshan, Russian. Uh, they do all the marketing and we've been getting a lot of our sales now mm -hmm. from online. Mm -hmm. So eventually it's going to come to a point where basically we can depend everything on online marketing. And it's any business that's, you know, in business, they should really consider online marketing. Another thing is that, you know, <coughs> just because, you know, Jim and myself are, own, we own the business, we still do calls till today. Uh -huh. We still give trainings. We still, you know, teach yeah. our people. Because again, we lead. We don't yeah, boss lead. people Correct. around. Yeah. You know that's right. We hammer the phone, man. Yeah. We close. Yeah. Like this. I think I think that's very very important because I do the same. Like I have a just to touch into that. If you are always just delegating mm -hmm. and not in there, it's mm -hmm. gonna crumble. You you kind of lose the respect of of a, we're at, we're all at the same level. Exactly. Here. So if if the bosses are willing to to do the work and support, not not support and lead exactly then the the, the the team behind is gonna be like wow these guys are like the real deal so it's motivational I find and I, I, I share that with you guys absolutely um, so uh, I respect that a lot because I, I think it's very very important in business today you know we, we have to always not forget that where we came people from. look for leaders but they need the leaders to, to, to kind of lead the way at all times yeah so uh, admire interesting that. and a piece very of advice we can give to people man <clears throat> always remember where you came from you know, don't change because of, you know, things happening in your life. Always focus on becoming better and be coachable, you know, yeah. learn from yeah. people that are where you want to be. Mm -hmm. you know? That's very important you know? too. I mean, you talked about being coachable. Yeah. Um, 
got to be a sponge. See, you, you can be the, the, like, you know, there's been several instances where you meet people that are really, really good at one thing, but you, you, they're, they're, they're a hard time to, they have a hard time to coach these people. Mm. And consequently, they become bad for a team, mm. right? Uh, I think Gary Vee said that where you had, he's fired his best, his best selling employee. At, at one point. Yeah, because something about he was cre- like he, he was, was just not creating a, a bad environment for everybody exactly. else. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he it was, was all about Apple. All about me, 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 and then forgetting about there's a whole bunch of other people to, mm-hmm. to lead. So you don't really like my favorite quote, which I heard it a few years ago, it's either you win or you learn. It's not mm-hmm. losing. Because when you lose, yes, it feels like it feels horrible losing, but you gotta learn from it. Mm-hmm. And gotta keep on going. And a lot of people when they lose, they just quit. They stay mm-hmm. in their bubble. They stay in their comfort zone. This is not for me. This is where the negative thoughts come in. You just got to keep on going, mm-hmm. man. So it's either you win or you learn. One foot in front of the other, right? Yep. There you go. So on your bad days, when you guys are having a horrible day, when it just seems like everything's going wrong, what do you tell yourself? Got to keep going, man. You know, you can either make money or you make excuses, but you can't do both. People are in the worst situation. Now, exactly. Though. Yeah. And we're blessed to have what we have. Very grateful. No? For those that don't really understand what NPS is, okay? So I, I, you, you mentioned point of sale. National okay. processing service. Anything Correct. you do so, accepting credit cards. Meaning if I have a restaurant, absolutely, I can have your service. 100%. Yes. So now a local restaurant, is he going to Google and say merchant services or how, how would a local restauranter from here get in contact with you or... Word of mouth, yeah. uh, our name, because we're, we're, we're making a lot of noise in the, uh, in the marketplace. Uh, online, they mm-hmm. can Google. Um, Visa, MasterCard, Terminal. Also, we do have a sales office. Yes, yeah, sales office. Here, outbound calls. Outbound calling. So we have openers okay. that call all over Canada. And then you have the closers. Exactly. Closing, right. closing the sale. Account office. managers. Correct. Okay. And if they want people to meet face to face, we do have a few road reps spread all over Canada. Mm-hmm. Right? So if somebody really wants to meet face to face, we could do that. But uh, there's technology. There's something called DocuSign. Uh, people don't re- we don't really need to meet but if they want to we can yeah i mean everything's digital today there right? everything okay um last question and this one's the important one if you had to go back to turks and caicos 14 years ago where we met would that bar incident still happen would you redo that scene yes i like that probably change Stop. nothing you know what you're out that's it get out of here i don't want to we change nothing man that we are. We, we do are the, the same damn thing. That's exactly. what I want to hear. The same damn thing. Huh? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I do not regret it. I had a great time. <laughs> you want me to laugh? Huh? <laughs> it's gonna be. I'll never forget that. Bro. I'll never forget that story, man. <laughs> you were there. Of were course. you there? Of course. I want. I want to ask you, man. Yeah. We, we all talk about the successful times, yeah. and the reality is that for you to get to that pinnacle, there's a whole bunch of other Absolutely stuff that happens that are. Not only hard, but yeah. sometimes 100%. you want to give up, yeah. you want to stop doing it, you want to move on to something else. Yep. And that's what makes you successful, not stopping during that hardship. So exactly. can you tell me or tell the viewers, give us an example of a time where you're like, this is the worst possible October day. 2013. Okay, tell there me about goes. that. It started in October 2013, uh, before we got our partnership with our partners in the US. Uh, obviously at that time I was working at the job. I had quit the job, Jimmy to quit that job. And we started the call center, very small, just me and Jimmy. And basically at the beginning, uh, we, we had spoken to the people in the US and they said, listen, we'll basically become your partners, but in order to do that, you guys need to prove to us how serious you are. And mm-hmm. you need to be submitting a minimum of 25 accounts a month for a minimum of three to four months. So at that time, me and Jimmy were nonstop on the phone, opening and closing, working, like you said, you know, 12, 15 hours a day. We had a small little shop on Mazurette. $150 a week. You know, we're, exactly. We were actually uh, living off our credit cards. 150 bucks a week. What do you do with that? You can't do mm-hmm. nothing with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we were paying our bills with our credit cards. We, we pushed through, man. Every day was hard. You know, mentally, you felt like shit. Like, 15 hours a day. Bro, you're 30 years Eight old. Eight in the morning until yeah. 11 at night. Like how are we? We're, we're seven years old. About 28, 29 years old. You ask yourself, what the hell am I doing in my life? And yeah. I was getting married uh, 10 months later. You know what I mean? So you're getting married, starting a well, young family yeah. at the beginning stages. Yeah, it was horrible. No money, like, no, no success. Absolutely. But we were sold on where we were going. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We, we were sold on where we were going. You we, know what you wanted. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and nothing up. was going to go in exactly. between. Uh, uh, yes, there's competition out there for sure, but got to lim- eliminate the distraction. You've got to exactly. focus like a, like a horse. And we knew that when we do get this partnership with our partners in the future, 
at that time, which happened March 1st, uh, we knew that they would they would be lucky to have a team like us in Montreal 100%. running the show because we're hardworking people. Yeah, you know what I mean, and we know how to sell mm-hmm. with and integrity. Was, yeah, absolutely with integrity. Yeah. Absolutely, and Important. that's a big thing. Yeah. Man, integrity is. I very think longevity important. and integrity come 100%. together. You know, yeah. making that quick sale, that quick. But luck. also, but also, like you said, longevity. Longevity equals credibility too. Mm-hmm. See now, after eight years, seven years, that we're still involved in merchant processing. Yeah. The haters in the first week, yeah, let's see how long this is going to last, so on and so on. We're still here, man, and we're not going nowhere. We and when, when we, we want to come to a point where, where people in Canada, they think credit cards, they think a debit machine, they think Nick and Jimmy from, you know, NPS, you know, and we, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to, you know, be having a huge 10x presence online, uh, even with our salespeople in the office. Yeah. We're going to be everywhere. We're going to be in people's faces nonstop. And in conclusion, don't let somebody steal your dreams. They don't have the the right. Thank God. We didn't listen to those people. And Shirley. He's a lefty. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, uh, look, you know, one thing is people should accept that it does. You need to learn how to sell no matter what. Absolutely. You know, this whole taboo thing, I don't know how to sell, I don't want to learn. I don't like selling. I, I don't, I'm always on the phone. I'm always selling something, I exactly. guess, if you want to call Absolutely. it. Absolutely. The I better you become at it. I don't like sales. I don't, I'm not, I don't consider myself a sales But guy. you're, you're I'm selling. a solution finder and yes. I'm, I Which, be that's what yeah. sales is. That's what sales is. You're finding right. a solution to a problem. That's right. And you're, you that's sales. I think, I think the problem is that when we think sales, the you word think sales, of the, the snake oil, snake you know, that guy sale. with a suit, exactly. uh, you know, you need exactly. uh, trying to sell you. No. Uh, that's, not, that's, that's, that's not sales. sales. No. That's not exactly. sales and it's service. Persuasion. The art come of persuasion. Together. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and people gravitate more towards people that I, I find when, when they have a, a relationships. A, a, no, yeah, your aura. When your aura mm-hmm. gives out an aura of trust, yeah. people will gravitate towards you. And when you, when you overdo the sales and you, too uh, energetic and too much, yeah, you know, where, where it doesn't make any sense. People feel it. They, they feed off it, right? Sales is not necessarily like blowing things up and marketing into the... Exaggeration. Some, yeah, over-exaggeration. No. Yeah. So uh, in conclusion, gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for giving me the honor to interview you. Oh, thank you for believing thank in us from thank day you. one Absolutely. with the Nick Jimmy Show. You're, you're, you're our main sponsor. Was I, yeah. We I, appreciate you, man. And I'll thank keep you. being your sponsor. I, I, uh, we know each other from uh, many years ago, and uh, I'm glad to see that uh, you guys are doing well. I sincerely mean that. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy to build a business, especially with 40 employees. You know, uh, and, it's an and adult maintain. Daycare. Pardon me. It's an adult daycare. Yeah, I, I can't imagine what your days are like. You know, you make it look easy. You guys are smiling. You're 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 fun guys, but in the back end, there's a lot of hard work that goes into Absolutely. it, mm-hmm. and that deserves respect. You created jobs, you created a show, you created a family, uh, Nick created a belly, and at the end of the day... I actually lost 45 pounds. Ah, what? Listen, you look great. You look great. But uh, in, in all fairness, uh, I think uh, your story is, is a very interesting one, and uh, I really wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you very much, thank brother. We much. appreciate you, man, and thank you.